I get a lot of the same questions from people on how to set up the Moono Caster C2 Neo so you can record onto your computer, so I decided to make this video covering all of the things that people seem to be having trouble with. Hopefully in this video, I'll be able to answer all of the questions that people may have. This is going to be a good video for beginners, or even people who may not be that tech or computer savvy. So first of all, this will be for the Moono Caster C2 Neo, but also if you have another audio interface such as the Moono Caster AME2 or the AM200. They all pretty much work the same way. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that I want to clear up is that these audio interfaces do not have onboard recording. With the exception of the programmable sample pads, you cannot record to these devices. You must plug them into a computer or even a smartphone to record. And I'll go over how to do this in a minute. But first, I want to cover a few more basic issues that I hear people having. Another thing I want to clear up is that you cannot use a USB mic with these devices. If you buy a microphone like the Mono AUA04 or the DGM20S, you cannot plug these microphones into these audio interfaces. USB mics are meant to be plugged straight into your computer and used by themselves. These microphones are not meant to be used with mixers or audio interfaces. Another thing that I've heard of a few people trying to do is use these audio interfaces with the Mono Link app, with the expectation that the Mono Link app is is a audio recording software. These audio interfaces are not actually compatible with the Monolink app. And I just want to make it clear that the Monolink app is not an audio recording program. So even if they were compatible, you wouldn't be able to record to the Monolink app with them anyway. Monolink is just a controller. For example, with some of the mics like the Mono PD200X or the Mono DM30, you can do things like change the colors of the RGB lights on the mics, or you can switch between some preset EQ settings. But it doesn't record, you're still going to need a program to record to. And this next thing is kind of related to what I just talked about, but I've talked to a few people who thought that they could just plug the C2neo into their computer and something would pop up and they would be able to start recording right away. Like I said earlier, you're still going to need a recording program, and if you don't have a recording program or you don't know how to get a recording program, you're in luck, because I'm going to tell you how to do it right now and I'll tell you how to do it for both a Mac and a PC. And first I'll start off with Macs. If you have an Apple computer, the easiest thing to do would be to use GarageBand. GarageBand is a free recording software or digital audio workstation that comes free with Apple computers. If you don't have GarageBand, you can download it for free from the App Store. Once you have the app downloaded, you can go ahead and plug your C2neo into your Apple computer and turn the C2neo on. When you open up GarageBand, band a window may come up asking if you would like to use the C2neo go ahead and select yes. If that window doesn't pop up, the first thing that you'll probably see is a window with a picture of a microphone, which is selected underneath the word audio. Go ahead and hit create in the bottom right corner. Now just to double check, go up to where it says GarageBand in the top left of the menu bar and click GarageBand and go down to settings. A window will pop up that says preferences. Go ahead and click on audio slash MIDI. And where it says input device and output device, it should say Mono Caster C2 Neo next to both of them. If it doesn't say Mono Caster C2 Neo next to either of those, click the drop down menus for both input and output and select the Mono Caster C2 Neo. If the option for the C2 Neo is not there either, try turning your C2 Neo off and on and try it again. After this, you can go ahead and close this window and try recording by clicking the red record button. If recording doesn't work, try clicking the plus button above your first track and a little bit to the left left to create a new track and try to record to this track instead. And you should be good. Now if you're using a PC, I recommend downloading the program Audacity for free. I'll go ahead and put the download link for Audacity in the description below. After you download Audacity, you can go ahead and plug in your C2neo, turn it on, and go ahead and open up Audacity. Now to make sure that you're going to be recording from your C2neo into Audacity, click on the audio setup button and click on recording device. Then select the C2neo from the drop down menu. If your Monocaster C2neo does not appear there, 
click on Rescan Audio Devices. Now if you go back to Recording Device, the C2neo should appear there. Then click on Playback Device and select the Monocaster C2neo there as well. Now you can click out of the Audio Setup window and begin recording by hitting the red record button. To stop recording, just hit the spacebar on your computer's keyboard. Now if you have everything set up properly and you're still not able to successfully record into either of these two programs, here are some troubleshooting steps that you can try. One, make sure that the USB cable that you're using to connect your C2neo to your computer is plugged into the correct USB-C port on the back of the C2neo. It needs to be plugged into the port that says USB-C, not the one with the lightning bolt symbol above it. Two, make sure that your microphone gain and microphone volume are turned up on the left side of the C2neo. Three, make sure that your main center knob on the C2neo is turned up. This is your USB and line output. And finally, number four, if you're using a condenser microphone, make sure that the 48 volt phantom power is turned on on the C2neo and that your microphone is plugged into the XLR port on the back of the C2neo. If you follow all of these steps, you should be able to record successfully with your C2neo onto your computer. As far as using Audacity and GarageBand goes, YouTube is full of tutorials on these programs. Feel free to search YouTube for any specific questions you have regarding these two programs. GarageBand especially is a pretty in-depth program and you can really do a lot with it. If you are interested in learning more about the functions of the C2neo, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of this video of another video that I made about the C2neo where I talk about more of its features. So anyways guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you did like this video or if it helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my videos in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll go ahead and put my Instagram right here and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.